So what is PMI? Why do you have to pay it? And why do the amounts differ from loan to loan? We're going to give you a quick overview here. First, I'll tell you, we're going to look at three different types, FHA, conventional, and VA. And we'll start with FHA. And the first thing to notice on this is FHA PMI stays on your loan for 30 years, but it declines based on the loan balance. For example, if you had a, a $200,000 loan, let's just say your PMI was something like um, $140 a month and you paid your balance down over time to $100,000. Well, your PMI would drop from $140,000 all the way back down to seventy. dollars So it's based on the loan balance. That's a little different. Now, also on FHA, you have an upfront fee that they charge, and they roll this into your loan amount. So if you're borrowing $100,000, they would put 1.75% or $1,750 into the loan. So the amount you would finance wouldn't be $100,000, it would be $101,750. Makes a small difference in your mortgage payment, but it's not huge. Then you have the monthly fee. That's what most people are familiar with. It's 0.85% of the loan amount on an FHA loan, unless you put 10% down or do a 15-year loan, and then it's 0.8. But 99% of the time, it's going to be 0.85%. Now, a conventional loan is very different than that. So it really determines, and when we're looking at which loan is the best, we're always going to look at credit scores. One of the biggest factors on a conventional loan on PMI is your credit score. And I mean, it could be a huge difference. Just, for, just on credit score alone, you might have one person that pays $60 and another person that pays $225 just because the credit scores are that different or because the down payment difference. If somebody puts 5% down, they're going to pay a higher premium than someone who puts 15% down. You see, pretty much everything is risk related in the mortgage industry. So if you have a lower credit score and a lower down payment, that's considered higher risk. It's gonna have a higher premium. A bigger down payment and a higher credit score, lower risk, so you're gonna get a lower rate. Doesn't work like that with FHA. So you wanna compare these two options to see which one might work out better for you. Also with the Mitchell loan, if you have two people on the loan, you might get a little bit better pricing. Uh, and also, it depends on whether you're buying it for a primary residence, a second home, or an investment property. So investment properties are going to get the highest PMI rates, and then secondary and the lowest rates are going to go to the primary. Now, VA doesn't have PMI like a normal FHA or conventional loan. They have a funding fee, and that is an amount that's rolled into your loan, and it's based on whether it's your first usage or whether it is your second or subsequent usage. And also there's a little variation if you're putting a down payment. But VA has one of the best things going on PMI. So that's a quick overview. And I hope that answers any questions you have. We'll be back tomorrow with another little bit of overview on the mortgage business.